Hi, everybody. Morgan here. Pronouns she, her. I'm the CTO here at Roll20, and I'm here to shop a few of the things we've been working on for the last month. All right. So my cleric is surrounded by boggards, as you can see, and I want to know which of my delightful area of effect spells are going to be most effective here. We've got a bunch of improvements to our measure tool. Now, of course, we're already familiar with the line measurement. And that can be handy for a lot of things, figuring out how far away something is, planning out your movement. But if you've noticed, there's some improvements here just in terms of how clear the display is, exactly what you can see about information. You can see both the number of squares traversed as well as the distance. We can more cleanly specify whether we're snapping to a corner, or snapping to the center, or going completely freestyle. But there's a lot more here now than there was before. We can now measure square area of effects. Works a little bit better with snap. We can measure circular area of effects. Unfortunately, I do not have fireball being a cleric, but I'm sure I've got something I can use. And we have cones, all kinds of cones. We have our nice D&D 5th edition flat cone here. Of course, I'm playing Pathfinder right now with the Kingmaker module. So my rules for cones here are a little bit different. So lots and lots of different options for how we can measure out areas of effect and make the most of our delightfully murderous spells. I also have my character sheet open here to show you uh, a few of the new things we've got. The last few times we've done this, I've shown off some of the things that we have going on in Drag and Drop, and, and we've got more. Pathfinder 2nd Edition Drag and Drop fun over here. But you know what? How about instead of showing it to you here, I show it to you somewhere else. So we last month showed you the Enhanced Character Vault, or as we're starting to call it now, Roll20 Characters, the ability to open character sheets outside of the virtual tabletop. We only had that available for Marvel when we showed that to you last week, but let's let's take a look at my character here. My character, Great, the Finder of Paths. And just like we've looked at before, we have ancestries, we have backgrounds, and now, new and improved, we have classes. And all of that outside of the virtual tabletop. Now, coming over here to my Kingmaker character, just to show you a little bit more of what we can do. If I pop open classes here, like I mentioned, this character is a cleric. So let's come in and make some of those decisions about the character and what she's capable of doing. So I've drag and dropped cleric to my character sheet, and now I'm prompted to add cantrips to my character sheet. Add spells. Define my divine font and choose my doctrine. And that's set up for all of the classes here. You all might be familiar with this screen. This is sitting up there where the vault is to show our progress as we go through and get all of these sheets released. When we say coming soon, we mean really soon. But I'm on an admin account right now, so I can show you a little bit of a preview of what we've got. So I'll make my new character here, D&D the Great. And here we are outside of the virtual tabletop a brand new character. And you can step right through the character mancer. Once you've got a completed character, dice rolls work right outside of the VTT, straight from the character sheet, just like you're used to. Right off of the character sheet into the roll log. Oh, 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 man, I crit fail right now on stream. Perfect, perfect. We got to keep this take. And also coming soon within the next couple of weeks here will be Call of Cthulhu, and that's including our new pulp Call of Cthulhu Mancer, also available outside of the VTT if you're playing in person or just looking to have your character sheets open somewhere outside, or if you just want to make a bunch of characters on your lunch break. A couple of things that we're working on that uh, aren't quite ready for release. We have continued to do improvements on the measure tool. 
it's been out on production for a little bit, but uh, we've got a lot of bug fixes coming out that we've got uh, uh, here on our internal testing environment. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have had moments in your games where you've been a little bit too happy with pushing forward on the turn tracker and then discovering that you skipped the turn of someone who really needed to take an action and have gone through the pain of having to cycle through one by one until you get back to the top of the turn order again. But no more. We have a sophistication of modern technology, a back button for all of your initiative mistake convenience. We have some other improvements coming. This one to the compendium on the right-hand sidebar while you're in the virtual tabletop. If you've used the new Character Vault features, you might have noticed that we have a slightly different implementation of the compendium there. One of the major enhancements of this new compendium sidebar is that it's using a different service that's much faster. And so gone are the days of clicking monsters and waiting five and a half minutes before the first monster load. So much improved there from a performance perspective and lots of other things are much snappier and more performant with this new compendium sidebar feature. And so we're really excited to get that out to you. Another handy side effect of this new compendium sidebar is it does some fuzzy searching. So if your search is less than ideally spelled. So for example, I'm searching for four ball and there's the fireball spell. If you typo as often as I do, I'm sure that this will be very handy. And that's going to be it for what we're looking at this time around. But we've got a lot more coming and a lot of exciting things to talk to you about in the months to come. Thanks so much. Keep playing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to August's Reroll. We have a ton of exciting new products on Roll20 and Drive Through RPG this month, and I am one of your hosts today who will be talking about those. My name is Brooke Whitney. I am a partner relations representative at Drive Through RPG and the host of Design Dash, which I will get to talk about more later. And with me today is Eve. Please introduce yourself and let us know what you'll be talking about today. Thanks, Brooke. I'm Eve. I am a producer here with Roll20 on the content conversion team. And I'm going to start us off by talking about the most recent release that we've had in the Marvel Multiverse role playing game. We have the very first character builder that we have ever made. This is different from the previous character mancers that have been available on Roll20 in that this is fully accessible outside of the VTT. And I am here to show that off right now. If you come here to roll20.net slash vault slash characters, you can check it out yourself right now. We have a free compendium. So even if you don't own the Marvel multiverse role-playing game, you can check out the functionality available as part of the free compendium. Simply click create character right here, and it will pop up right in your web browser. This will also work on your mobile phone. And you can access the character builder. You have access to everything that you would on the VTT. So let's go ahead and set some ability scores. I think that we are going to have a rank two hero, someone who is, you know, a little bit established. They might protect, you know, their neighborhood from the forces of evil. And so we'll go ahead and we can set some ability scores for them here real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll say they're real smart and pretty fast. We've got the option for their origin. Let's just go ahead and make them one of the Eternals. And they were previously a criminal. We're, we're just going to go ahead and skip their traits for now. And we're going to, I'm not sure what powers they should have or what their backstory should be. But we can go ahead and get right into it here. And we have our brand new hero. The coolest thing to me is that you can roll 
your ability scores directly from this character builder. So if we click on agility, it's going to roll the agility just as if you were right there on the Roll20 VTT. This is perfect for in-person play where everyone can have their character sheets right in front of them just on their phone and still make use of the functionality of Roll20 without having to have, you know, their computer there with them. This is a first, and we have so many more of these character builders planned. The next one, I believe, is going to be for Call of Cthulhu, and I am really, really looking forward to that. The other thing that I would like to talk about as it relates to Marvel is that free compendium that I mentioned. We have the Marvel Quick Start available now directly through the Marvel compendium. You can see it here. This is the front page of the Marvel compendium. And if you scroll down just a little bit, we have the Marvel Multiverse Role-Playing Game Quick Start Guide. You click, and there is all of this free content available so that even if you haven't decided that you want to make a purchase yet, you can still check the system out. It has everything that you need to get started with the Marvel Multiverse role-playing. So that includes a general guide of how to play the game. It also includes backstories for your characters, how to build a character, and like I said, everything that you need, all, all available right here. Grab your gear. We're going monster hunting. Evil Hat just released Monster of the Week, Codex of Worlds on Drive-Thru RPG and Roll20. This expansion offers 15 team playbooks packed with new allies, new moves, and new assets. Instantly transport your Monster of the Week campaign into alternate settings, including a creepy mansion or the medieval fantasy-inspired monster marches. On World 20, you'll get pre-generated characters and location lore dripping with flavor right in the virtual tabletop. Turn back time to the Stone Age with the Codex of Worlds today. Do you feel a chill in the air? Roll20 versions of your favorite Call of Cthulhu titles are now haunting the drive through RPG marketplace. Pick up a copy of The Hammersmith Haunting and plunge into the ghost fever gripping 1800s London. With maps, pre-generated characters, NPCs, and player handouts delivered straight to your Roll20 account, you'll embark on an investigation that will leave you breathless. Shop the best of both worlds today and get a variety of content delivered right to Roll20. And speaking of your favorite Call of Cthulhu titles, set sail on a cruise of Cthulhu in Design Dash Episode 2. Design Dash is our monthly competition game show where we give three creators one surprise prompt and only 15 minutes to design an encounter. August's episode featured the weird and wonderful minds of the Miskatonic Repository, our Call of Cthulhu community content program. From sacrifices to the Northern Lights to a family drama with far too much squid, this is an episode you have to watch. Check it out on Roll20 App's YouTube channel and catch any episodes you may have missed in our Design Dash playlist. It is seriously to die for. Also recently released from Paizo, we have the all-new Rage of Elements book. This is a brand new compendium on Roll20 where you can harness the overwhelming power of the most primordial forces of nature. Uh, it adds the Kineticist class for Pathfinder 2, bringing one of fantasy's most popular hero types to Pathfinder. In addition to that, it adds new elemental spells and gear, provides tons of different element-themed options for character classes, and there's an extensive gazette here uh, providing an overview of the elemental planes. Uh, including two brand new planes, uh, the decaying plane of metal and the vast orderly forests of the plane of wood. In addition to all of this, you get a huge bestiary presenting scores of element-themed creatures 
in order to help populate these alien landscapes and if you want even liven up the material plane dungeons uh, on the roll 20 conversion of this title you'll find every single spell feat class option and background ready to add to your sheet from the compendium all of our book text is laid out in the compendium with in-app drag and drop for player handouts and you'll find tokens and handouts made from every single piece of art in the book all combined in an art pack in your art library when i say every single piece of art i am talking hundreds of tokens it was a phenomenal effort to get these out there and ready for use the world needs heroes rise to the challenge with neat games newest core rulebook expansion fabula ultima atlas high fantasy inspired by japanese role-playing games this supplement offers four new classes guidelines for creating dynamic high fantasy settings and five pre-generated villains each more fearsome than the last you'll have everything you need to set off on a journey of incredible magic and ancient mysteries Challenge Destiny and grab your copy of Fabula Ultima and Fabula Ultima Atlas on Drive Their RPG. Don't forget to check out this month's Roll20 Reserve. This month is the Monster Starter Pack from Jan Luce. And this bundle of extraordinary creatures will challenge even the bravest of heroes. The Roll20 Reserve this month is five. Yes, five art packs featuring 240 figures that are ready to drop onto the VTT. Uh, this includes monsters and creatures from the desert, forests, caves, a entire pack of dragons, and uh, a whole pack of big bad boss monsters. Also available this month, check out Bigby Presents Glory of the Giants, where the famous wizard Bigby unveils the secrets of, well, the giants, presenting their history, myths, society, and realms in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, inside of this book, you will find a wealth of giant-themed character options, uh, uh, including a subclass for barbarians, to backgrounds related to giants and their runic magic, uh, as well as feat options that evoke the strength and primal magic of the giants. In addition to all of this, dungeon masters will gain inspiration for how to bring giants to life. This includes maps of giant built sites to treasures and, you know, what, what are you going to find in the bottom of a giant's bag? The answer is jelly sometimes. It's, it's a little disturbing. In addition to all of this, it includes dozens of enormous new monsters. So check it out and let Bigby teach you everything about the iconic giants of D&D. We also, now available for pre-order, have Planescape Adventures in the Multiverse, you can return to the incredible imaginative world of Planescape where demons and angels sip tea together and the unexpected is just around the corner. Also check out our pre-order for the Book of Many Things. The Book of Many Things reveals the secrets of the Deck of Many Things, one of the most infamous magic items in Dungeons & Dragons actually the very first magic item that really caught my eye as a kid reading through old Dungeons and Dragons. This book explores the deck's divine creator and the undead hunters who want to destroy the deck. Along the way, you'll discover knights who protect those who find it, werewolves seeking the deck to lift their curse, and a goblin who will use the deck in order to read the future of your heroes. All of these titles are either currently available on Roll20 or available for pre-order. Speaking of the divine, chosen by the gods are the exalted, all that stand between creation and the forces that would ruin the world. Onyx Path Publishing's newest release, Crucible of Legend, offers a toolkit for running games and creating characters in Exalted. 
Storytellers will learn of the secret agendas of the Exalted and the Saxons ruling creation. Peruse a wide variety of alternate rule systems for crafting and bureaucracy, and learn how to balance encounters and design appropriate challenges for your chosen. A wealth of tips and tricks can be found in these pages, so don't miss out. Pick it up on Drive-Thru RPG today. Thank you again for watching the Roll20 reroll. I am Eve. And I am Brooke. It has been a pleasure to discuss Drive Through RPG and Roll 20's most recent releases. Please check out everything we've mentioned today, and we'll see you next month for the next re roll. Goodbye. Bye.